them hearts and breaking the rules. Here's the punter Bradley Pinion on to get us started. And we are underway from downtown Minneapolis. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And now they'll stop play here, at least momentarily. A member of the Vikings in some discomfort after that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury. And we'll be back in a moment. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Here's second and seven. Play fake. Cousins. Oh, it's first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. So, CD, his very first pass of the afternoon intercepted. And I know that's a major surprise for any quarterback because, look, let's face it, no one thinks about throwing interceptions. But think about all the warm-up that we saw, right? Every pass he threw went a single interception because, oh, that's right, there were no defense. A little bit different when there's live guys out there chasing the football. So here are the Falcons with great field position to start out. And leading the charge, their lefty QB. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Back to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. He'll get it to the 23-yard line. From the 23, this is second and three. They'll look to throw. Looking there for Pitts, but intercepted. There he goes, right side. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful they get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage. Dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? too many defenders out there exactly as you described an interception on first down they'll go to the ground attack and yeah, they'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first score no score after one on EA Sports second quarter now from Minnesota it's the Vikings in possession of the football as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming and they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. Now 
Now they'll run on the draw. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Vikings post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the yard line and you start thinking maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range so this is a bonus right here what a great run to work his way into the end zone Menu narration option is set to off. Menu narration option is set to off. Menu narration option is set to off. Joseph connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. They'll set up a throw. And that is incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. They'll run with a former Viking, Cordero Patterson, busting through contact. Just wasn't a huge hole there for him to operate. Stop just inside the 35-yard line. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Calling a loss of four there on the sack. And speaking of the number four, it brings up fourth down now. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coach... All right, so we skip the rest of halftime and get set for the third quarter. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. The Falcons offense ready to get going to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been... He's got a man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 33 yards that time. Uh, that's the kind of play this offense desperately needed. They've got to be saying, our defense has kept us in the ball game. We're down, but we're certainly not out. And maybe that was the spark that they've been searching for. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Well, there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Second down and a run by Robinson. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. 
The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. They'll run this one right with Robinson. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. B. John Robinson scampering home from 19. And the Falcons have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So, six plays, 75 yards. And it was Bijan Robinson who took it home with a touchdown run. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand-new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And, Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in time in the game because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, but we take the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half keeping them in the driver's seat. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. All right, now here we go. 7-7 is our score. Pretty even matchup so far as we start quarter number four. And that's complete to KJ Osborne. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Uh, he's been quiet all afternoon. He may have just come up with a play of the day right there, though. Obviously, it's not the volume in what you get done. It's the quality, and that was a quality catch right there. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Now a handoff to Chandler. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five and the six. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now... In this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Here's first and goal. They run it with Chandler. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. On second down, they'll run it here. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about it if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. They'll run here on third and goal. And that's a touchdown as they broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. And this is the time of game where offense.
offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with the touchdown run to take the lead. Joseph on for the extra point. Well, this will frustrate a coach right here. The flag is out before they get off the extra point. And this is going to be a delay of game. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Another attempt now from five yards further back. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it's capped off by the late touchdown. It's a seven-point lead here in the final minute of the game. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. So all eyes on the Falcons. Down 14 to 7. A little over 20 seconds to go. And they've got to travel to full 75 yards. And time is obviously a huge factor here. First and 10. This went into the hands of Pitts. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. He's back to throw. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. What a game we were treated to in this one. And then on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end.